just been editing my vlog from yesterday and I'm chatting away about um, my bracelet that um, is very special to me and I'd forgotten something and it just came back to me in a flash. Let me just prop you up while I make my cuppa because uh, I've got my girl date with Franca in two minutes. So, um, when Kate um, was in the Chapel of Rest, I went with James and Granny to visit her and to paint her nails because that was something that she'd asked me to do or I said that I would do and um, when, when she was alive, when she was poorly. Um, so a week before she died, we were together, but she was sleeping quite a lot and it, there just wasn't the right time for me to do her nails. So I didn't do them. And then we were on our way to visit her. James had called and said, look, she's not got much longer. So we were on our way and I, I thought, right, I'll, I will do her nails because she always liked to look her very best. And uh, she died before we were anywhere near. We hadn't even left the house. <laughs> so, um, when I went, she, when we went to visit her at the Chapel of Rest, I painted her nails. And I've spoken about this before on a vlog or a podcast at some point, so I won't, I won't mither on. Uh, squeaking. <laughs> so I, um, I painted her nails, lovely colour that her mum had chosen. And um, just catch my breath. And I tied onto her wrist a piece of yarn that, a whole longer story, was, was special to me because it was connected to her. It's just a mustard colour sock yarn. So I tied a bit to her wrist, tucked it up her sleeve, kissed a good night, and I tied a bit on my wrist. And um, I wore that, weirdly, I wore that until I got my bracelet back with, with the um, safety catch on it. And that evening I noticed that the mustard piece of yarn that I had worn for a good few months was gone. And I took it, because I like to, I like to bestow meaning and signs on things. I took it as a sign that I no longer needed a piece of yarn to be connected to Kate because I had my bracelet back. I know that was silly, but that's how I feel. I'm sticking with it. I'm doing very well, not bursting into tears these days, talking about her. Get a bit misty, aren't you? But and yesterday I had to um, pause, collect myself, and then carry on. Right, so I'm going out now. I'm out here, and it's chilly, and I'm uh, I'm a bit earlier than Franca. <laughs> I'm laughing myself. I've got Bill's school coat on because it's so nice and puffy. And um. Oh. And the wind is so chilly that I had a brainwave and I thought, I know what, I'll have a sleeping bag. So now I'm sat out here. <laughs> wow, Wally! <laughs> I'm so cosy. So, that's Franca's little den, two metres away. Here she comes, here's her car. Back to reverse in. And then we're all set up for if it rains, we've got brollies and we've got parasol. 
and I've got my uh, Fort Macross stitch out. And it's not rained all day. And now Frank is here. And it's bloody raining. I wasn't recording you because you don't let me. <laughs> Can I? No. Oh, she said no. She said no. Again. And she's so pretty. She should be on film. Darling. Yeah. You know it's raining. Yeah. Do you care? No. Oh, we better cycle around so you don't get cold. So you can stay warm. Okay. Really and then... When you're wet and cold, you go in, put your things to be washed in the utility room and then jump in a warm shower. But I'm never going to do that. Okay. <laughs> hey Will, will you pick that up please? Bring it up, Will. Let's have a bit of that again, shall we? <laughs> it's dead. It's a dead car. <laughs> that was doing so well. Oh, Nine quid for my gear. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Proud of your work? I've got no skin left on my knuckles. Oh no, but the children have a new trampoline cover net. Excellent. Did I hear you jet washing it? Sorry? Did I hear you jet washing it? Yeah. You're nearly catching him, Wilf. All right there? Yep. <laughs> All my <laughs> life. I'm in old Beatles home. <laughs> <laughs> Do you look like that? All my life. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> He's looking forward to being in old people's home. All of my life I wanted a veranda. Right, don't go super And back, we've got one. Thing. When we did the yeah. extension. And when we had it done, we thought, ah, oh, it's brilliant. And now we realise that we should have had it twice as large. But never mind. We made it twice as large when we did it. What, then what they were going to do? Yeah. Well, well, that would have just been a tiny shell. I know. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Yeah, no, we should have had it kind of so that the roof was above me now. But it works. It does, doesn't it? It's fine. Oh, look. Look at that little girl. You stay. And look at that little dog. They're just going to sit there and whinge at us now. No. Oh, I do love sitting here though. Absolutely love it. can hear the boys on the trampoline out the back. It's great having that fixed. You enjoying the tramp? <laughs> Hello. Hello. Let's see some of your best tricks. Are you quite all right down there? Who's Bunny? You. <laughs> She's lovely. I can't get over how much you love her.
How much do you love her? You're not going to say because I'm filming you. Well, funny. Come on, when it's not bedtime yet. Back in bed. Stupid dog. <laughs> It's a little bit. Am I ready? Yeah. Ready? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Where's it going?